are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Ducks start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Feeds the puck up to Michael. Here they come on the rush. Fires it on net. Oh, and a great save by Gibson. Great close save. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Trying to shake loose. Stones him on the breakaway. Knocks the puck loose. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Sends the pass over. And he passes it up ahead to Prosser. Rocked him! Man, James, does he ever look shaken? Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The Ducks have created a buzz in the building as everyone's standing on their feet, cheering their guy on in this fight. Silverberg's known for his 1T zone ability, and his teammates love setting him up for that lethal one-timer when on the attack. The Ducks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Rocks him on the play, and he comes up with it. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Silverberg. The Ducks have it from their own end. Quick feed to Lava. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Boom! Oh, wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Then he get nailed. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Reaches out and uses the stick. Quick pass across to Kane. And sends it just out of reach. Takes the pass. Hammers him in the open ice. Look at this. Ran out of time and couldn't get the shot off. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Granlin's won the draw there on the attack. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels, after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency in attack. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Anaheim's won the defensive zone draw. Here they come up along the wing. Pass back to the point. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. He's got a little jump. Up. He's in. What a save on the play. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Ducks will have to kill off two minutes here, charging the call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Score! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there! Well, this power 
power play is perfectly executed, James, but it all starts in the dot. You want to win that face-off because the setup, that's the most difficult part, and then they get all of the options ready that are available to them, and they find a way to attack the net. The Wild have been pushing, and they finally break through with the game's first goal. Yeah, they capitalize finally, James, and that's the execution they needed, but there's not much ice out there, not much separating these two teams, so this next shift to create and continue that momentum is really important. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Oh, wow! A devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Denies him in close. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Still lots of time left here in this frame. one nothing the score. Herman's won the draw inside his own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick pass to Prosser. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Oh, and a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Big save. Denies him again. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Nasty hit along the wall. Michael's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Johns. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Look out, here they come on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to feed it over to Silverberg. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Passes the puck over to Koivu. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. And called for the offside. We're going to face off. Well past the midway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Koivu's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. Fires it! Denies him on the one-timer! Oh, what reaction! Minnesota's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, we got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes the save. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Oh, he had that corner, but he pulls it off the outside of the post. The Ducks are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a 1 0 game to this point. Granlin's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And that's turned aside. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, then guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits just like that one. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Puts it on that. Denies him. Chris has got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Good stand-up hit on the play. Grabs him with the glove.
Minnesota's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. We're so used to seeing this shot hit the back of the net. I mean, when he shoots in stride, he doesn't miss. But this time, the goaltender gets in the way. Trying to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Uh, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. And he's knocked off the puck there. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Face-off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Ducks start with the puck in their own end. Slides the puck across to Mendoza. And now he tries to get it across to Herman. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Great save by Gibson. John's dropped the mitts earlier and spent five minutes in the box for fighting, and he's no good there. He's got to find a way to generate opportunities and get himself back in this game. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Ducks gain the zone. Quick pass to Mendoza. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Toss up the puck after that hit. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Great poke check on the reach. And he loses control of the puck. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Koivu. Taken along the wall by Silverberg. Here's a chance. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Gibson's aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Stops it with a glove. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck now. 
Costas Bear has got it in the defensive end. Here we go, odd man rush here. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Oh, and a smart heads up play with the bank pass. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Dishes it to champion. And a great heads up defensive play here. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Johns plays it against the boards. Shot! Redirected off a stick. Musa quickly over to Michael. Hammers it on net. Strong use of the body. Takes that pass back to the point. And that's blocked from someone in front. Anaheim's got control of the puck. They fight for it along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Scoops up the puck here. Takes the feed. The Ducks take over on possession. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Rocks him into the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Puck battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Granlin. Breaks it up with the poke check. The goaltender anticipated that one perfectly. Why? Because they knew it was coming. Everything is worked through this one-time position, knowing how lethal it can be. Got all of it. He just didn't put it in the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Here's a rip. Too much congestion in front. I'm not sure if he was ready for that hit, James, because he went down in a hurry, and it was hard. Now he's laboring. He's really struggling to get back to the bench where the trainers are waiting for him. Tries to get it over to Solani. Quick feet off the post. The Ducks are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately, they hit the pipe again. Here's a short pass to Scandella. Blocked in front. Handles the pass from the right. Good hit. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Koibu's gonna play it against the half wall. Here's a pass in front, and that's blocked in front. Denied that one. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Hollandale's not gonna be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. He rules to the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Koivu's won the draw, now look to set up. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Suter's known to help box out attackers when they try to set up in front of his net. His bouncer zone ability can help limit those chances from in tight and keep that area clear. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Oh, just wide! Coaches oh. often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Across the line, down the left wall. Shot! A textbook pass save there. 
Throws it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Handles the puck. To the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Looking to set up offensively. There's a firm collision. Covers the shot. Oh, and the anchor was dropped on that hit. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Takes control of the puck. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? There's another stop. Chris has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. Love saving just enough of it. the buzzer two periods down one more to go they always say three is the magic number we've got period number three next welcome back james Shadowski ready to bring you all the play-by-play -play. The scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time it winds up in the back of the net. The Wild have to be playing with confidence now here in the third period, and they've got that one goal lead. Well, and there'll be a lot of coaching now because it's about managing the game, James, knowing exactly where they are and finding a way to finish it off for the victory. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to John. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. left to be played in this period. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Michaels gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Quick pass to champion. Back to the point it goes. He's got a little jump. Something happened in the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Dishes it to Hall. He's got a step. A saving chance. And that's stopped. That knocks it off the puck. Chris has been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James. And he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save. But now he's going to get some much needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Sends it across. The Wild have it in their own zone. Takes the knot, but he's still got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Scandella. Shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, they do it again. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Minnesota's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Picked up along the boards by Scandella. Quick feed to Conway. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's a 2-1 game. Conway's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Glove save, and an easy one at that. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume.
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. And the puck skips away after that move. Oh, what a hit on the play! He's on his own bench there, Cheryl. Well, the only good thing is he's not on the opponent's bench, right? He'd be getting a face wash if he was over there, but instead he's on his teammate's bench, and you know what? They're going to pick him up. and they got to continue on, continue to press, and contribute more. Sends it into the offensive zone. Feeds the puck over to Mendoza. Cut to the front. Big time stop. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. Puck picked up by Suter. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The Ducks gain possession. Here's a short pass to Herman. Receives the pass. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. And that goes on the stick. The Ducks will play the puck from behind the net. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Quick shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Big time stop there. And the defenders come up with the puck. The Ducks have it now. And it takes a shot. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Quick feed to Niedermeyer. He says, let's get physical on that play. period has expired. We got a tie game. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. The Ducks have it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Johns. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Slides it over the pace to Lava. Oh, we'll get some tired defense. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you <sighs> hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. Well, a spirit and strap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. After a fight, the heart rate is elevated, you're sweating, you're exhausted, and now it's time to cool off, simmer, reset your emotions so you can get back out there and play after you sit your five. Well, it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for. Hockey! Slides the puck over. The Ducks take it across the line. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it to Silverberg. From the right side, they gain the zone. Quick feed down low. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. So much pressure on this ship. They have their opponent running around everywhere, really chasing the game. This is exactly what you want. Quick pass to Oates. Now a quick pass to Solani. All alone. Oh, beautiful save in the play. And you got to love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. The Blues are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Moves it quickly over to Suter. Tries to get it to Niederreiter. Slides the puck across to Granlin. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Came up with the save on that play. Up the outside of the iron. I like the habits and the shot selection right there.
right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe. Doesn't go in the 4 by 6 and now they're chasing the game. Good fight for the puck along the boards. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Minnesota's across the blue line. What a steal in his own end. Takes the feed at center. Takes a shot. And that's blocked away. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. Break away. Oh, what a save here in this third period. Absolutely clutch pounder. Two good teams going at it head to head. It's a close game, and you've got to find a way to execute in particular when you get those golden opportunities. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Solid body contact. Picked up along the wall by Suter. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Gibson. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Michaels won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. This goal all comes down to winning the faceoff in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility. It's about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick release shot. Great goal. Minnesota's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Huge steal in zone end. Uses the force on that hit. Thunderous collision along the wall. And he's ridden off the puck. Unable to reach that one. The Ducks have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Great reach by Conway. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Denies him in front. Moves with the puck at the corner. Oh, wow! Stops the game! They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, have a little help. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that shot and convert it on their opportunity. Troy moves quick stick off the draw, wins possession. And that pass attempt is deflected. The Wild have possession along the boards. Sends the pass in front. Find a winner next. Overtime, moments away. Puck is dropped, both sides looking. It's a two on one. What a great defensive play to end that rush. Oh, what a chance here. Here's a shot. Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. 
Through center along the wing. Picks up the feed. Trying to gain a step. He's in all alone. Oh, makes the save. Had a chance to win it in overtime, but denied. Oh, and this is a clutch moment. It's one-on-one -on -one battle. And the winner is the goaltender. Michaels won the draw here in their own zone. Taking a chance for the win! Scores! Overtime winner! What a moment! What a night! Well, the goaltender's put in a real bad spot here as they just give up the puck in their defensive end. When you can't recover, you can't get to set position square to the shooter, and you open up the bottom half of the net. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.